Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a pick a card reading to uncover what new opportunities for money are coming your way. I let the cards pick the topic for today's reading. Uh, these are the three cards that came up when I asked what reading would be of the highest good at this time. And all the cards really pointed to new opportunities for money, success, and joy. So I figured it would be fitting for you to get to pick from the cards that set the tone for this reading today. And uh, we'll do our readings off of each of these cards. Already from these cards, I'm getting that for those of you who this video has found, who are watching this, this is the dawn of a new age for you in your life. Something big, big things, new things, positive pivots and shifts are coming. So I'm really excited to channel more guidance for you on all of that. Uh, we will take a closer look at the cards in a moment here in case that helps you get clarity on which pile or piles are calling to you. But I do want to note first that this is a timeless reading. So anytime you find this video is exactly when you need to hear these messages. Now, as we dive into this reading together, remember that you are the creator of your reality. So always take what you need from these readings, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, find your own truths, clarity, and alignment in these readings, whatever that looks like for you. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Taylor Eaton and I am a wealth oracle and the author of the Wealthy Woman Oracle deck, which we'll be using later in the readings along with a bunch of other decks. If you want exclusive daily mini money readings from me, as well as all the resources you need to manifest more wealth into your life, then you are more than welcome to come join me inside of the Wealth Vibe membership. This is a low cost membership that I created where we have daily money readings, monthly money manifestation challenges. Next month, we're doing a challenge to use SATs or state akin to sleep per Neville Goddard to manifest money in your sleep. Uh, we also have a book club and exclusive money meditations and a high vibe like-minded community of nearly 200 people. It's truly the place to be to immerse yourself in an abundant, wealthy vibe and speed up your money manifestations. The wealth vibe is also the only place you can purchase private readings or coaching from me. So the link for the wealth vibe membership is below in the description and pinned comment. I would love to get to personally connect with you there. Now let's take a peek at each of these cards and their crystals so that you can pick your reading if you haven't already tuned into which one is calling to you. So for card one, we have our four of cups reversed. You can kind of get a closer look at it here. I'll turn it right side up in case you want to see the imagery. And the crystal for that is Emerald Jade crystal. In case you like to pick by crystal. For card two, we have our Ace of Cups right side up. And we have Tiger's Eye. I believe this is Red Tiger's Eye, actually. So pretty. For card number three, we have the Sun. And that is right side up. And our Crystal Ford card three is Green Aventurine. Now, as I mentioned, we will be using multiple decks throughout each of the readings. So I will list all of the decks used in this video in the description below in case you're curious about any of those. You can absolutely watch more than one of the readings if more than one of these cards or crystals are calling to you. That just means that there is guidance for you in each of those readings. So pause the video if you need to, take however long you'd like to choose your, your card, and then click the timestamps below in the description to jump to whichever card or cards you are called to and I'll see you in your reading. Hello, card number one. This is your reading to see what new opportunities for money and success are coming your way. So uh, you picked the four of cards, the four of cups reversed. And this already is just, I'm getting so much from this card. I get that uh, what's coming for you. We're gonna pull so many cards, so many different decks for this reading, but what's coming for you is going to be such a relief 
is what I'm getting. Like this, these new opportunities for money or success that are coming uh, are really going to feel like a relief, like a burden is being lifted. Whether this is a financial burden, so maybe if you have some debt or uh, some financial obligations that you want to pay off, I see that being relieved by this situation, by this new opportunity. Uh, but I also see even more profoundly like a deep inner relief, like a relief of once you identify and, and start to take, you know, this opportunity that's coming to you, I see you feeling this relief of like, okay, things are going to be okay. Things are going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. And even if you don't have any sort of debt, but it's just this feeling of like wanting to get somewhere. I have this feeling that you've been wanting to get somewhere, either career wise or financially, some sort of milestone or goal. Maybe it's buying a house. Maybe it's hitting a certain income level. Maybe it is paying off something, whatever it is. I taking a trip for some of you I'm getting, but you've been wanting to get there and it feels like you've been stuck, right? And either spinning your wheels or just like the progress is so slow or sometimes it's like two steps forward, one step back. And I see that you're about to shift out of that state of being. You're about to shift into this new opportunity and it's going to, it's going to feel and look like things are moving more because they are, right? Uh, but I get that the way you're going to get there, there's so much coming through with this card, is by taking time away from the noise is what I'm getting, right? Even when we look at the imagery on this card, I'll flip it right side up for a moment. Uh, she's laying down, right? This, this woman's here. She's laying down. She's, you know, contemplating. She's, you know, being offered a new opportunity, right? Uh, a new cup to pour into, a new thing to put her energy into, right? And I see that's what's coming for you. But it's, uh, because this is reverse, right? It's like, there's, this is coming, but you're going to need to be looking for it, right? Uh, you're going to need to be, because if you just keep doing the day-to-day -day stuff and expect it to fall into your lap, it won't, you'll miss it. But if you are taking at least a little bit of time each day to slow down and do something different, shake it up right? Even if it's not in terms of finance or career, but let's say instead of, you know, like working all day on your business, you take an hour in the middle of the day to go for a walk instead. And that's not something you'd normally do. That different thing where you're having more quiet time, more time with your thoughts and with yourself, that's what's either going to allow this download to come through. That's going to lead to new opportunities, or you'll run into like the opportunity itself. You'll see a sign somewhere, a literal sign that has some sort of opportunity that you seize on, or you'll run into somebody who has an offer offer opportunity for you. So I just saw three, three, three on my phone, some nice confirmation. Uh, so really this is, this is something that's really great. This beautiful blessing that's coming, something you are well equipped for, uh, but you need to be taking time to be aware of it and be looking for it and create space for it is what I'm getting. Create space for it to come in, right? So uh, it's very exciting. <laughs> I want to get some more guidance. Uh, what What is coming for card one? What new opportunities do we have coming to us? We have warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? And we have, yeah, dance with life, do something, change your energy. So this right here was just a little bit of that confirmation of that last guidance I was just channeling for you with our initial card, which was do something different. Like the, the act of doing something different is what is going to open up the avenue, the channel for this opportunity to come to you. I see this opportunity being a chance for you to answer your deepest calling. And I get, especially with this warrior woman card, which I don't know that I've ever seen this card before and I have, I've used this deck for so long, <laughs> uh, which is just wild. Have you answered your deepest calling? I feel like you've, card one, you've been fighting almost your whole life to be able to answer your calling. I'm getting, you've been fighting the external world, like people in your life. I'm seeing parents or mentors telling you 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 can't do that thing, that thing you want to do, that dream you have, especially to make money or as a career, you can't do it. Or that dream you have of what you want to achieve, you can't have it. That's unrealistic. Or, you know, like they, I, I, I hear that you probably heard things like, oh, well, that'd be nice. Or like, oh, wouldn't that be nice? Or wouldn't we all like that when you've expressed your desires or what you feel called to do in this lifetime? 
And uh, to that, the universe is saying right now through this card, that's a bunch of BS. And this is your time. This is your time to allow yourself to follow your deepest calling. So there's some sort of opportunity that's going to come up, some sort of event, this catalyst almost that's once you make space for it, you do something to change your energy, you do something different, even just for like 30 minutes a day, you do something different, right, with your day. And that's going to lead to the ideas, the realization, the opportunity, some sort of catalyst moment that activates like this warrior within you finally, like awakens this warrior woman within you. Even, and this is gender neutral, by the way, like just this powerful energy within you. And I just keep, I just keep hearing the words, no more, is what I keep getting with this card. No more. Like this catalyst moment, event happens, shifts something in you that you start to say, no more. I'm not settling for less than I want. I'm not listening to people who tell me I can't have what I want. I am not willing to deny my deepest calling, my soul's calling, my desires, my passions anymore. I'm going to act on them. And I'm in... I see again you being handled like this golden opportunity to act on them, to actually dive into your deepest calling. It could be through your current job or work or career, and it's just a di like a different, you know, a promotion or a shift in departments or in responsibilities or a deepening of your role or a new extension of that. Or it could be a complete pivot into a different career, a different, uh, a different money making activity. But I see you changing what you are doing in some way to call in money so that it comes deeper into alignment with your soul's calling in this lifetime and with what, at least at this point in your life, this chapter in your life, feels like the most aligned thing for you to be doing, the most joyful thing for you to be doing, the most empowering thing for you to be doing. So, like I said, I got the sense that you've been fighting, you feel like you've been fighting or being fought your whole life when you've expressed or tried to pursue your dreams or your passions. And like I said, fighting externally, but also I see that you've been fighting yourself internally, most likely because you had people around you saying, oh, wouldn't that be nice? Or that's not realistic. Or you'd have to be so lucky or exceptional or whatever to have those things happen for you. Because of that, you start building stories of, well, yeah, that, what if it can't happen for me? And you kind of fight yourself. And I see that you've been pushing down, keep getting this like pushing down vision and energy of pushing down what you really want, like what you truly want to be doing, what you truly want to be saying, what you truly want to be sharing with others, what you want to be spending your energy and time on in this lifetime, especially when it comes to work, what you want to be known for, what you want to be compensated for. You've shoved this down so powerfully, card one, that you maybe don't even realize you're doing it anymore. But you know you're not living as this fully empowered warrior version of yourself. And that's what's awakening. So there's a new opportunity that's coming and it's looking at, just looking at it, like this energy, this warrior energy within you awakens and says, no more. No more am I going to listen to the limitations that others are projecting onto me. No more am I going to listen to the limitations that my subconscious, that my ego, that that fear-based part of myself that has learned it from others continues to project onto my future. That breaks now. I see you severing that, right? We have the sword here. I see you severing the connection, the ties, the limitations with those, with those things that keep you stuck. This is really exciting. I see you again. This is why at the beginning of this video, I said, this is like the, the dawn of a new age. I, yes. The dawn of a new age for maybe your career, maybe what you're doing, maybe your day to day work changes, but also the dawn of a new age of you fully stepping into your power and into saying, screw it. I'm going to live my life doing what I want. Cause I get one life. It's so short. I'm going to go for what I want. And that's so beautiful. So like, this is all, I don't even get that other than changing your energy. I don't, and like changing a little bit of your routine up. So, and so there's a little bit more time to yourself, a little bit more time for reflection, a little bit more space for what you desire to drop in. Other than that, there's nothing else you're going to have to do because the opportunity is going to come and then you, you're going to look at it and it's going to shift something in you. It's going to, something's going to click like a switch is going to flip. And you're all of a sudden going to be like, I, I am done not being the strongest, most embodied, most authentic, most powerful, most passionate, excited version of myself that I came here to be. I'm so excited for you, card one. This is, this is, I love this so much. All right, let's get some more guidance. We'll pull from our Wealthy Woman deck. 
see what else you need to know about this opportunity or how to make the most of it. Let's see. Let's see what we, we have here. Mend the flow. Oh my gosh. We have the catalyst card. I kept using the word catalyst. <laughs> so of course our catalyst card comes up. <gasps> this is my Wealthy Woman Oracle deck that I authored. Uh, yes. This is some beautiful confirmation. This is literally the catalyst card. Uh, this is beautiful confirmation. That, and I just saw 1111 on my phone. This is a beautiful confirmation that things are about to start happening and they're going to happen fast. <laughs> it's as soon as you start changing up your energy and creating that space for things to, to, to drop in, for opportunities to come to you, ideas to come to you, right? Uh, it's, it's so much is awakening within you. This awakening, though, that you'll be undergoing that's so directly tied to the opportunity that comes through for you to shift your how you're making money or the amount of money you're making and the way you're making it. This opportunity is going to awaken you, awaken this warrior woman within you, and it's that is going to end up kicking up a lot of things for you to heal, right? We have our Mend the Flow card here. There's going to be a lot of things for you to heal. Uh, I don't say this as like a negative thing. This is actually a very beautiful thing. We're always on kind of a healing journey. Sometimes we just embrace it and sometimes we fight against it. I get that you've been fighting against it, right? Against the healing of those stories, of those limitations, of even maybe for some of you the words witch wound are coming through, of it's not safe to be me, it's not safe to do what I want to do. That could go back lifetimes. There could be past life healing or generational healing there. It could just be, you know, healing from this lifetime of what you were told in childhood. Um, especially if what you truly feel called to do has any sort of spiritual ties or anything outside of what your family or upbringers uh, believed in and tried to instill in you spiritually, right? Uh, that there's a lot of healing to do there. But I get that you've been fighting against yourself and fighting against healing the things that cause you to fight against yourself that you've picked up from others. And now it's like, it's going to, healing is going to start to happen naturally because the more fiercely you go, I no more, I like, this is kind of almost your mantra, no more. The more you lean into that and you actually start pursuing this opportunity that comes being this fully expressed version of yourself, answering your deepest calling, things will come up and you will just, you'll look at them and you'll go, finally, I'm finally ready to look at this and heal it. I'm finally ready. And oh, what a relief to be able to name what's holding me back. And oh, like, you're just gonna, you're gonna feel in flow with life, with money, with yourself, but also in flow with your own healing journey. And that's incredibly beautiful. Like that, I'm getting that as things come up, as things are awakened to heal within you, because you're finally not fighting, looking at them, you're not fighting yourself anymore. You're not fighting your own healing. As things are awakened within you to heal, you are going to, oh my gosh, card one, it's so beautiful. It's like, you're gonna look at your shadows, you're gonna look at your wounds, you're gonna look at the limitations, the blocks that you've been holding, and you're gonna look at them and you're gonna smile because it's gonna be, again, this relief that I was getting at the beginning. It's like this relief of like, finally, I can look at this and not run from it, not fight it. I can look at it and heal. And I get that you're gonna be very guided in your healing. I get that. There will be mentors who appear. There will be resources who appear that appear. There will be books, blog posts, you know, things that pop up on social media for you, YouTube videos, right? There will be things that just come in at the perfect time as you continue to make space for what you need to come through. And it's just like what you need will come at the right times to facilitate the healing. It's going to be, again, inflow with your healing journey. And I just saw 444 for you on my phone. There is so much alignment for you. You're really coming into alignment is what I'm getting. You're coming into alignment with the flow of, of everything, not just the flow of money, but yes, that and the flow of success, but also the flow of healing, the flow of your deepest calling, the flow of your spirit, the flow of life, the flow of the universe, the flow of abundance in all forms. And what's really interesting, card one, is that when I'm, as I'm reading this and I'm kind of tuning into what's the opportunity, what's, what's that going to look like? On its surface, the opportunity for most of you isn't going to look like some like earth shattering thing or some miraculous thing. It'll just be this thing that you'll know it when you see it because it's going to catalyze something within you, right? It's going to awaken this warrior woman with, within you. It's going to awaken this energy that says, this is my calling. I'm going for it. Again, it could just be like a small promotion at work or a lateral move at work. 
It could be uh, a new offer you have for your, an idea in your business. It could be someone offering you some sort of job. It could be a job some, move somewhere else, right? Like it, there's so many ways because this is a general reading that I'm seeing that this will manifest for different ones of you. But for most of you, it's not going to look like, oh, like a lottery win or like this miraculous n never would happen in a million years sort of thing, right? It, it, it's very much like other people would look at it and go, oh, that's a cool opportunity. But it wouldn't be mind-blowing to them. But what you do with it, what it awakens within you is going to be mind-blowing to you and to them down the road. I'm seeing like six months down the road. Things are going to look totally different. I'm so excited for you. Oh my goodness. Let's get a couple more cards down before we wrap up this reading. This deck here. Let's see what else we need to hear. What else do we need to hear? We have these cards popping up. Of course we do. This card, I swear, <laughs> it's my favorite card in this deck now. It always comes up because this is Multnomah Falls, which is um, like 45 minutes away from me here. I'm on the border. Oregon and Washington State in the U.S. and uh, on the Columbia River, River Gorge and Multnomah Falls is so beautiful. But this is also about wealth, right? Sage, advise, acquire, invest, accumulate, priestess, begin, perceive, predict, prophesy, and the lovers unite, desire, cherish, caress. So uh, I do see you again coming into, we have the lovers card. This could be that as all of this unfolds, you could be meeting somebody new through this new opportunity, maybe through this new work that you're going to be doing, uh, who is a romantic interest for you. Uh, I see it being, if that's the case for some of you, that is a very supportive relationship that, uh, like just continues to build you up in doing your soul's work. Um, I also see if you're with somebody, them being able to start to see your soul's calling in you and becoming more supportive of it. I actually see for those of you in relationships where you feel like your partner may not be supportive of what you believe your soul calling is that like you just pursuing it and doing your own healing is going to like, you're going to be surprised by how quick of a 180 they do for most of you. It's very cool to see. And I'm getting that you don't even need to convince them. You don't need to try to figure out how to say, just work on your own stuff internally, work on this healing that comes up. And there's going to be this amazing ripple effect because you're going to be different. Your energy with them is going to be different. The way you interact with them will be different as you start to heal more and stop fighting against your own healing and you step more and more into your power, like it's in into your calling, like you're just going to become even more magnetic to them. They're going to fall deeper in love with you, which is so beautiful. Um, but for some of you, I do see that there, this might not even be a romantic thing. This might be a business partner or a coworker, right? Someone who you go really far with like career wise, who opens doors with you and for you which is very cool. Um, I'm getting the message from my Arrow Collective that they, this person in that case is, in, in all these cases actually, whether they're a romantic partner or a business or colleague, right? Like there's, there's someone who's coming down the road or who is going to shift down the road to be so supportive of you. And really I'm getting that they're an angel sent to help you in this lifetime. Like that's part of what they're here to do. It might not be all of what they're here to do, but it's part of what they're here to do is to help you step into your fullness, into this. This is our priestess card, like to, into this new beginning, right? Begin into this fully expressed version of you, into your deepest calling, right? And they're just, they're going to be such a source of strength and support for you as you, as you inv and just embark on this. Uh, I see that through your healing, right? As you move through your healing again, about six months out is where I'm seeing this sage card really come into play because what you're going to start to accumulate more money than before. You're going to have an increase of some sort of money, whether it's pay raise, a new job entirely that's just paying you way more, new salary, bonuses at work for some of you, unexpected windfalls for some of you, um, for a lot of you who are in business, just bigger income months and years, like six months out, you're going to have more money that you can then invest right? And this is saying at that point, look at investing it back into your soul's purpose to take it even further and even deeper, right? Invest it back into what you're doing, whether that's more education, more certifications, things like that to help you go further in your, uh, in your career or in your business, right? Investing into team members. This also could be investing into advisors. It could be a financial advisor for some of you to show you where to invest even more of the money that you're going to be acquiring and accumulating, but I could also see it being uh, investing into mentors or coaches or team members to help advise you and help you again acquire and accumulate more 
more abundance, right? So very, very beautiful. I'm loving that so much. Do I feel, yeah, another card or two, and then we will be complete, I think. Anything else? Anything else for card one to know about this opportunity? This is like such, there's such big things coming for you. <laughs> Void moon, do nothing. And then we have the moon's reflection, accept responsibility. Make sure these are all, I hope they're all on camera for you. I think they are. I might move them up a little bit just so you can see them all. Okay. So here, card one, first of all, with this void moon, do nothing. Again, like I said, creating spaciousness for this opportunity to come in through, uh, for it to download or drop into your, to your, rea your reality, your path, your existence. But also, uh, there's, it's, it's amazing how much we think we need to force things to happen that we need to be so heavily involved in controlling of how things play out. But uh, this opportunity that's coming, yes, it will, will, it will require healing. It'll require you to step up and say, no more. I claim this. I choose this opportunity. I claim my soul's calling, my deepest calling. Uh, I choose to be this fully expressed version of myself, and I choose to do the healing that comes up along with it. It's like that's all action in a way. It's very internal action for the most part. And there will be those aligned external actions you will have to take. That's always part of the dance, right? With money and with success. But for the most part, you're not going to have to do that much to make, the, make this success happen. What you have to do is accept responsibility for yourself, for your own healing, for continuing to show up as this warrior version of you and allowing that to step forward more. Uh, accept responsibility for where you're holding yourself back, where you still have limitations to heal because healing is an ongoing journey, right? Uh, accept responsibility for the things you can control and change, but then releasing the rest, right? This is an opportunity that I keep saying golden opportunity. It is a golden opportunity because it is meant for you. It is meant for you and your soul's calling. So why would you have to struggle to succeed in it? This is an opportunity that's meant to call you forth into your soul's calling, right? And so you're not going to have to do all this crazy difficult work on like externally, any work you do, even if it looks difficult to others, it will feel almost like doing nothing to you. That's how it should feel because it should feel good. Yes, it might stretch you. It might kick up some healing. It might feel a little out of your comfort zone, but it's not going to feel like this mountain you have to climb. It's going to feel like a joyful, sustainable journey, right? It's going to feel good. Part of this too is I see you're rewiring your subconscious through some of your healing you're doing here as well. You're starting to rewire your subconscious. Of course, if you start saying no more to all these stories and you start healing the stories, your subconscious programming and your rules for how your brain sees and creates your reality change, right? Um, so you're going to be changing so much that what once would have felt like it had to be an arduous, difficult journey or path is now going to feel almost like you're doing nothing. Like it's going to feel as natural as breathing to you. It's going to feel so easy. I will say also inside of the Wealth Vibe membership this coming month, if you're watching this when this goes up in July of 2022, uh, 2024, excuse me, uh, starting on the first, we're doing a 21 day challenge to manifest in the sleep, to rewire your subconscious using SATS, state akin to sleep. Uh, we're going to be doing that for 21 days together. If you want to come do that with me and really I find that it's one of many modalities to rewire your subconscious and manifest in your sleep by doing nothing, right? Uh, and manifest these opportunities and miraculous ways things things happen. You can come join me for that. But that's in there if it calls to you. That link for the Wealth Vibe is below. I'm excited for that challenge. But really, this is this is a reading about, for you, this accepting responsibility for what you're creating space to allow in, what you're creating space for, what you do with the opportunities that are presented to you, how you allow or don't allow yourself to be this fullest authentic expression of you to answer your deepest soul's calling. Like that's what this opportunity is giving you an opportunity like this. This It's not just an opportunity for more money, which it is. It's an opportunity to step into being more fully you and following what you came here to do in this lifetime and letting yourself own that and step into it and pursue it. And as you do that, the universe is going to reward you, right? But really you don't have to worry about the money. You worry about your own healing, about your own 
journey about your own self-expression and authenticity, about your own way of your changing your energy, right? That's what you get to worry about. And I don't even want to say worry. That's what you get to accept responsibility about and have that intent and, and control over. And everything else, like the money that you can't directly control, like the, you know, and how it comes in or when, like whether you get that job or not or that client or not or anything like that, like all of that, you, you get to release. That doesn't need to be the focus because that's all the byproduct of being you and following it. Again, like I said, there might be times when you have someone who comes in who can help you a little bit with your strategy in your business or with getting better at selling or with, you know, increasing hard skills that you can use to leverage to, you know, increase your pay in your day job. That's all stuff you can do. But again, it's going to feel easy to do that stuff. It's going to feel like the natural next step. Uh, you don't need to be stressing about that, right? That stuff comes into place. You just have to keep making space to allow ideas and opportunities to come in and get clarity on them and, and act on the things that feel good to you and feel like they're aligned with who you truly came here to be. So this is a really, really cool card one. I'm so excited for you. This is, again, it's a rebirth. It's a birthing of your truest self and a deeper authentic expression of yourself than ever before in this lifetime. And there's so much inner and outer abundance available to you through this. It's, this is such a beautiful transformation that I'm seeing for you over the next six months. And getting that from us, you really start to see the full extent of it, like three months, and then it's just like kicks up from there and amplifies the, the following three months. So over the next six months, like your life is going to look so different by the time we get to, if you're watching this when it airs, by the time we get to the end of this calendar year, oh my goodness, your life is going to look so different in the best possible way. Uh, if you are watching it, that, and that's just true, like from whatever time you see this video, this is timeless. So I saw 2727 as confirmation for you all. That might mean something to some of you. I'm getting the number 27 is relevant, but I saw that on my phone. So this is your reading card one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below letting me know what you took from it and how it resonated. I always really appreciate getting to see your comments and hearing how these readings connect with you. You are, of course, welcome to subscribe to my channel for future card readings for abundance. If you would like to get access to all of the resources you need to manifest more wealth into your life, you are absolutely welcome to come join me inside of the Wealth Vibe membership. It is a ridiculously low cost for everything included, like the exclusive daily money readings I post in there, our money manifesting challenges, where my clients have been manifesting just wild amounts of money over the last few months in there, and career upgrades as well. Uh, our book club, our exclusive money meditations, our wildly supportive community, and so much more. It's truly such a powerful place to immerse yourself in the energy of abundance, dissolve money blocks, and speed up your money manifestations. So the link for the Wealth Vibe membership is in the description and pinned comment below. I would love to get to see you there. And if you want to order your copy of the Wealthy Woman Oracle Dex, you can get divine guidance on demand for all things money and abundance. That link is also below. And with all of that being said, I'm wishing you massive prosperity and abundance, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Hello, card number two. We are going to dive into your reading to see what new opportunities for money and success are coming your way. So you picked our Ace of Cups here. And this one speaks a lot to love, maybe new relationships starting, uh, a lot of that spirituality, intimacy, right? Uh, but really with the Ace of Cups, there's so much emotional fulfillment here, right? Uh, even in the picture, we have this, this first of all, dove, right? This very this symbol of peace. And then we have this overflow, right? Uh, this cup that's running over, right? So you are about to kind of come up on this opportunity that is going to just, it's just going to fill your cup. Like you're going to have such overflow and so much that you're going to be able to pour more into your relationships and especially into any new relationships. Now this could be romantic relationships, right? Uh, some of you might find that you have some sort of new opportunity that comes up, which I'm going to pull some cards on to get a little bit more clarity on what this opportunity might look like in terms of uh, is it your career or somewhere else in your finances. But I'm getting that there's a uh, there's something, there's this opportunity that's coming that is going to 
give you more fulfillment personally that you can pour into new relationships in your life. So new romantic ones that you've recently started or will start around that same time uh, or new friendships, new connections with family. I see some of you reigniting like old connections with family members that you haven't been close with or you've maybe been estranged from, from for a while. And just uh, because you're going to be so fulfilled with this new opportunity and the way money's flowing to you, you're going to have more to give to others, not just financially, but also just energetically, right? So there's some really cool opportunity that the opportunity itself is exciting. It's an opportunity for more abundance, more wealth in one way or another. But more so than that, what you'll get from it even more is just this amazing fulfillment that then spills over into other parts of your life, into your relationships, and really does quite a bit of mending there, right? And quite a bit of upgrading there. Uh, so... This is really beautiful. I want to dive into a little bit more uh, clarity on what this opportunity is going to look like for you. So I'm going to pull from the Wealthy Woman deck. What's this opportunity going to look like for deck two? Monarch. Okay. I see you getting some sort of, uh, you're going to be in more of a leadership position, more of a leadership role that gives you more freedom right? With our breath of abundance card here, more freedom, more spaciousness in your, uh, in your work life, right? In your business, in your career. Uh, so this could be for those of you who are in a day job, right? Or employed traditionally somehow, uh, you are, there's, there's some sort of opportunity for, you know, a step up into management, a promotion to having more responsibility, more leadership, um, more, more control on getting over your days, over your schedule, over your calendar, more support in your work. So this is a sign I'm getting what's coming through from my collective right now is they're saying if uh, if you <laughs> have been eyeing or you see an opportunity that you're eyeing, like a promotion, like an opening at your job or a move to another company to a higher position, if you've been considering that, this is a sign to go for it, right? This is a sign to take steps toward that, to start exploring it, to possibly apply for that. Uh, to go for it. It's very aligned. If it feels, if it's an opportunity you've been looking at or you've seen, you go, oh yeah, that feels really good. That feels really exciting. I feel like life would be so much better. I'd get so much more of an upgrade. I'd enjoy my work more. And it's like, go for it. Like clearly, like you're, I'm getting that you're more qualified than you think you are for it. So that's very fun to hear. Uh, whether you get that exact job or not, some of you will apply for it and might not get it. But then because of that, you'll be like, I want something like that. And you're going to find something even better somewhere else. For most of you, you'll just apply for it and get it, right? But either way, there's a step up into leadership that's available for you either immediately or just like a month or two down the road. And um, the really cool thing about this is that once you do land in that more leadership position, where you're more in charge, you have, again, like a team or support or things like that. Like there is so much more just freedom for you. You have freedom more of your working hours or freedom more over your calendar, freedom over what you tasks you take on versus don't like it just creates so much more of space for you to be fulfilled in the work you choose to take on or when you choose to take it on or how. And that's really, really cool. It brings you so much more peace. I see you moving out of a lot of stress in your current job. If you're in business, this is, I see you getting some sort of visibility boost or some sort of big client win or, uh, some, for some of you, it'll be like media or PR. That's going to really put you into more of the spotlight and into more of this like authority in your business. People are going to start looking at you in a different light and start seeing you more as that leader and seeing you more as someone who like, they're like, Oh my gosh, how do I learn from you? How do I even work with you? You get, I see a lot of people applying to be on your team to have you hire them. Um, and a lot of people wanting to hire you or buy your products, right? Or join, join your team. So, uh, there's a lot of just like this big up level into a leadership role into being seen as a leader and also having more of the, the kind of sway and power and influence that a leader has. So that's incredibly exciting. Right. Uh, and it's just, it's such a natural fit for you, <laughs> whether you're in a job or in a business, in your own business. This leadership role is such a natural fit for you. I just saw 555 on my phone for you. So this is some nice confirmation. Uh, you are a natural fit for this role. Like I said before, you're more qualified than you think. And once you get into it, it's like you're going to feel so comfortable in your own skin. You're going to be like, yes, this is where I belong. This is so much better for me. Because again, the work you do and the freedom you have, the spaciousness, this new position creates and this influence you have, you know, you can wield it to create this for you. It's like, you're so fulfilled. You're so peaceful. 
it's just, I see that you've been in working in a way, either in your business or job recently, or, you know, trying to find work even in a way that just, it just has felt like you have very little control, very little power. Uh, like you have very, even maybe little respect too. And that is all shifting. That's all changing. And that's, uh, it's, it feels like a relief. It feels so nourishing. It feels like a replenishment is what I'm getting. So that's for, and I just saw it's two, two, two right now as I'm filming this, it's the time. So that's more beautiful confirmation. Uh, this is really you coming into your own, stepping into the role you're meant to be in, in your career. So that's very exciting. The way money is going to flow to you is looking very different and your, your day-to-day -day work life is looking very different, right? So there's an opportunity for that coming. Be on the lookout for it. Uh, as you step into this, again, this freedom you're going to have, it's going to spill over. Like you're just going to be such a different person in and out of your, your work, your career, your money related activities. Like you're just going to become such a different person card too. The way you engage with your partner, if you have one is going to be, it's going to just completely transform your relationship in the most positive way because you are different. You're more self-assured. You're more confident. You're more supported at it at work, you know, you, you have more work-life balance even potentially like, and you're also just enjoying your work more. And so you're just a happier, more centered, more grounded, more balanced person. And when you carry that energy home to you, like you'll, you'll find your conversations change. You're no longer complaining about work. You're talking about how much you love it. That shifts their energy, right? Like they what they see is even possible for them is shifting and you're helping them upgrade. Like you're going to feel even closer to your partner. You're going to have more time with them. If you don't have a romantic interest, this can apply to your friendships, to your family. Or I do see that in this leadership role, you will meet someone who is now more of a match for you at this leadership level. So this could be someone that you already know for some of you, but for a lot of you, this is a new person who you meet them and there it's like, because and I, I such a specific thing, I'm getting, going to a conference or an event and it's because you're already seen as this leader in your business or industry or this leader and you have this higher up role, you get to go to this event and you meet someone else there who's also like this power player like you are and so strong and so confident and so powerful. And they, you like come in together to create like this power couple basically. So there's different ways this will play out. Cause again, this is a general reading. But either your current existing relationships get this huge upgrade or you are now ready for this relationship of your dreams because it's not because you have the job and that makes you worthy. Let's be clear. It's because you are so much more self-assured in who you are. You have this monarch energy about you. And now you're ready for someone who's a match for that, who won't be intimidated by you and who you won't be intimidated by and who you just get to keep building each other up. So that's so exciting. So fun. Like, it's just this... So I see this like passionate love story for a lot of you. And for many of you, it will be the transformation of your current relationship. For some of you, it'll be a new one. And for some of you, it will just be, you know, a, like possibly building really powerful connections with your friends and family around you. But I get for most of you, this is speaking to just some level of like romantic love. Okay, we have here our Knight of Cups, which is, oh, it's all about, like, it's creativity and romance, right? Uh, and so, again, just this nice confirmation of, like, there's just such an upgrade available to you with this new job, with this new role, with this new level of authority of leadership that you're going to be stepping into. That is, oh, like, it is, it just, I almost see you carrying yourself so differently, that you are magnetic to a whole different kind of person and a whole different kind of relationship than you ever were before, right? Uh, and again, this this could mean that the person you're currently with, if they're the right fit for you, they upgrade to become a different, newer, upgraded, more you know, successful and more just in their own power version of themselves. But uh, regardless, like you up leveling this, even though it's gonna look on on the surface level, like it's an up level just to your career or to your finances, it's like, it's also going to lead to an up level in your relationships or call in new up leveled relationships. And I just saw 1111 for you on my phone. So that is some nice confirmation. Um, we also had our nine of wands come out. Uh, which for me, what's really coming through here is this like right now where you are 
it might feel like you're never gonna get there or like you've been where you are and looking for this kind of upgrade for a long time or you don't, you know, you feel like it's gonna take a long time to get there. And what I'm getting the guidance here is it's like you are so close to it. You are so close, you're closer than you think to this to success, to this relationship. So much can shift, two to three months. Like a lot of this will be in the works. You'll be seeing it manifest in real time. Really, really, it can happen very quickly. You're so close. Um, Part of this is about pushing through for you to allow yourself to get to this point. Uh, for some of you, if you see like a finish line, like if you're trying to get a degree or finish a training or finish a big project at work, it's like this, what I'm about to say now is supposed to be that like kind of motivator for your last little push to get you there. But it's like, you are so close to the finish line. Keep going. Do not stop now. That's what I'm getting. And then you're going to break through and this new opportunity becomes available to you because of how you carried yourself through that finish line. It would not hurt though. And I just saw one, two, three, four. So this is some good confirmation. This is what you need to kind of ramp up to where you want to be. It would not hurt in order to create that momentum and that energy you need for this last little push, this last little bit of perseverance this last little bit of, you know, like crossing that finish line, it would not hurt to create, we have again our Breath of Abundance card here, to create a little bit more space for replenishment, for filling your own cup right now. So this might mean upping your self-care a little bit so that you have the energy to carry you through the finish line of whatever you're currently working on, whether it's just like getting through a project, a degree, um, an interview process, or maybe it's even just like continuing to just do the work that's in front of you while you're waiting for this opportunity. But it's, it's like upping your self care is what's coming through, taking time for yourself, making sure you're really filling your own cup and you're replenishing yourself when you're not working. Okay. And if you're working all the time and I just saw three, three, three. So I think for a lot of you, you might be workaholics in this pile. If you're working all the time, like working overtime, where can you find the little pockets in your day? Where can you make sure you're taking at least, at least 15 minutes to meditate or to do some breath work or to just enjoy the sun on your skin or whatever it is to replenish, right? To fill your own cup. I'm also, this is so interesting because I don't often get this sort of guidance coming through. Make sure you are, you're hydrating. <laughs> and I say hydrating like literally could be drinking tea, more water, right? Hydrating, staying hydrated, but also like, hydrating in a more metaphorical sense as well, which is like keeping yourself inundated in the good vibes, the good thoughts, the energy of being a monarch, right? Being the leader of your life, being an, an authority in your business or career. So starting to embody that more now in those in the 15 minutes or so you take for a lunch break, if you're a workaholic, you're like, I have 15 minutes. If you're walking to a restaurant, and you're ready to pick up some food for carry and take it back to your desk. It's like, walk and pretend in those, you know, live the delusion in those 15 minutes that you are the boss, you're, you've gotten that promotion, or, you know, you're starting your job, ne your new job next week, or whatever it is. Walk like that, talk like that, think like that, have those thoughts, feel like it, right? Embody that energy. Now, create that space to do that now, and you'll draw this to you faster, right? But, um, so yeah, hydrating yourself, when I say hydrating, right, your mind, saturating your mind with the thoughts, the feelings, the images, the, the energy of who you're becoming, who you want to become, being this monarch, this leader, right? Uh, that can also be really powerful and also help you have more of that energy and that motivation to push through whatever, wherever you're at right now. Yeah. And if you want, honestly, too, if you want, uh, I'm going to grab another deck here for us to pull from, but if you want somewhere to make it very easy for you to tap into and saturate yourself with the energy of abundance. Come join me in the Wealth Vibe membership because that's what it's for. It's a place to get you in the Wealth Vibe so you can hold that energy of that next level version of you and draw it to you faster. And we have so many resources to help you do that from our challenges to my daily mini money readings to our next challenge is actually going to be SATS, which is all about saturating your subconscious mind while you sleep to manifest in your sleep with what you desire. So that link is below. If you want to go check that out and come join me in the Wealth Vibe membership. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? It is crucial for you. We also have trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? It is crucial for you if you want to be able to get this new leadership role, right? And this huge, massive upgrade that's going to impact so many parts of your life in these really beautiful, positive ways. If you want that, which I'm assuming you do because you're still here. It is going to be crucial for you, uh, card two, to 
not try to fit in, but rather focus on standing out. And I know this can sound so simple, but especially when you are interviewing or looking for opportunities or talking to people about what you're trying to manifest, do not try to guess at what you think people will want to hear in order to hire you or in order to interview you for that magazine if you're in a business or to whatever it is. Like, Do not try to produce how people are seeing you. This is something I, um, my favorite show of all time is RuPaul's Drag Race and RuPaul is a genius at so many things, but especially an amazing mindset mentor, even though that's not how he's branded. Uh, but he often said, he said this to contestants over the years and it's, it always resonates so deeply for me and it had helped me click a lot of things into place, which is you, you can't try to produce how people see you. When you produce how people see you, meaning you're trying to give people what you think they want instead of just being you and trusting what you want to say and what you want to do and being your own unique, weird self. If you're not trusting that and you're instead trying to guess what people want, you are you pull yourself out of your magnetism. You pull yourself out of your uh your magic, you pull yourself out of all the unique things that make you, you, that that's what, that's, what's going to land you the job. That's what's going to land you that huge PR spot. That's, what's going to help people set you apart from everyone else. All the other job candidates or all the other people in your industry. That's the key here. So once you find the big opportunity, do not go into it trying to be what you think they want you to be, be who you feel called to be. What the niggling thing is that that's just like that thing. You're like, I really feel like I need to say this. I really feel like I need to wear this. I really feel like I want to express this in the interview or during this thing, right? Like that, that's the thing that's going to, they're going to look at you and go, yes, that's what we're looking for. And that's, what's going to set you apart and land you the job or land you this big opportunity in your business or whatever it is. That's going to open so many doors to leadership and then all this emotional fulfillment and all of these amazing, gorgeous, really up-leveled relationships. But if you are dimming yourself to fit in those other people, like they're in the, in your relationship or, you know, the potential relationship you have, they, they're not going to be able to see you. You're going to fit in with everyone else. The employers, the clients, they're not going to be able to see you because you're going to fit in with everybody else. You need to be seen. This is so much for you about being seen. And that starts with seeing yourself. Start validating that the things that make you you are your most valuable assets. Yeah. There's a, uh, a live reading I did, a collective reading the other week that I will put in a card above here for you and I'll also put it in the description as well. But that live reading talked a lot about activating like effortless and inevitable wealth through your weird, unique self. So if you want a little bit more guidance on that, I'll uh, link that reading for you. But yeah, that's really what you need to be uh, be looking for. I am feeling like we might be getting close to being complete with this message for you. <laughs> we have our affirmation here for you. Let's see. We have, I choose to radiate my light today. I am who the world has been waiting for. All right. <laughs> that is some perfect synchronistic guidance, my loves. You can't make it up. I choose to radiate my light today. I am who the world has been waiting for. You can use this as a mantra to help you really don't dim to fit in, right? Dimming your light, right? Radiating your light. You cannot make this up. You can use this whenever you feel like you're dimming your light uh, or trying to fit in or trying to guess at what people want, trying to produce how people see you, right? When you catch yourself doing that, you can repeat this affirmation, uh, but you are card two in case you, you need to hear this today and any day, and you're welcome to come back to this, this part of the video as often as you like to hear this. But my collective is speaking so strongly through me right now to you and saying, you as you are, are more than enough for everything you desire. That's really beautiful. You are more than enough for everything. You are exactly who you need to be to receive everything you desire to have if you allow yourself to actually be yourself and not try to be who you think that big company wants to hire into that leadership role. Be you. Like, of course, you can be strategic, you can, you can be polished, you can be professional, but bring you to it, right? Bring you to the interview, bring your unique sense of humor or your unique point of view or your, your bluntness yet with a little bit of tact, right? Like whatever it is, it's like bring you to it, 
to the interview, to the job opportunity, to the client discussions, to the potential, you know, the sales calls, to the interview for that magazine or that TV feature, whatever it is, like bring you to it. You're who pe people have been waiting for you. People have been waiting for you to fill this position, but also to step into being you so that those relationships can upgrade or can find you. The people that you're also going to have working with you, your team, your support, the, the, the clients you're going to be serving, they've been waiting for you. They might not know it's you. I just saw 22, 22 for you. So this is some nice confirmation. They might not know it's you specifically, like insert your name here. They might not know it's you, card two, but they know that they're waiting for some, they're looking for that mentor, for that, you know, amazing boss who's going to, you know, just make their life so much better and so much more enjoyable at work. They're going, they're, they've been waiting for you to help them, right? There are people who are waiting for you to help them. And you can't help them by just trying to be the same as all the other people that have come before. Like it's your uniqueness that's going to heal. I see healing yourself and healing quite a lot of other people. So this is such a beautiful opportunity. And of course, like with this with this new position comes the opportunities for a lot more money. With this new leadership comes the opportunities for a lot more sales in your business. Like there's so much more money coming in. But what I'm getting is that more so than the money, like the fulfillment personally you get and the relationship upgrades that leads to, that's going to be the real reward of the, this new opportunity that's coming for you. Card two. That's so exciting. My goodness. I am so excited for you. If you already know what that... uh what this new position or leadership opportunity or boost might be to your visibility. Uh, let me know in the comments because I'm curious. But uh, yeah, big things coming, card two. I'm so excited for you. I just feel so much uh, joy and peace in my heart for you. Like, and that's, I feel like that's what you're going to be feeling in the next couple months here. And I'm really excited for you to step into that. All right, card two, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below letting me know what you took from it. Let me know how it resonated. I always truly appreciate getting to see your comments and hearing how these readings connect with you. Now you are, of course, if you're not already, welcome to subscribe to my channel for future card readings for abundance. If you would like to get access to all of the resources you need to manifest more wealth into your life, you are absolutely welcome to come join me inside of the Wealth Vibe membership. It is a ridiculously low price for everything included, like the exclusive daily money readings I post in there, our money manifesting challenges where my clients where my clients have been manifesting just insane amounts of money and career upgrades lately. Uh, next month is our SATS or state akin to sleep challenge to help you manifest in your sleep and rewire your subconscious. Uh, also, we have our book club, exclusive money meditations, our insanely supportive community, and so much more. It's truly such a powerful place to immerse yourself in the energy of abundance, like we talked about here with, you know, embodying who you're becoming uh, and the wealth you desire to have and to help you dissolve money blocks and speed up your money manifestations as well. So the link for the Wealth Vibe membership is in the description and pinned comment below. I would love to get to see you in there. And if you want to order your copy of the Wealthy Woman Oracle deck so you can get divine guidance on demand for all things money and abundance, that link is below as well. And with all that being said, I'm wishing you massive prosperity and abundance and love and personal fulfillment card too. And I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye. Hello, card number three. This is your reading to see what new opportunities for money and success are coming your way. So we'll move your crystal out of the way and you picked the sun card, which is just, you know, as you can tell with the sun and in tarot, it's just positivity. It's just the, the, best case scenario. It is optimism. It is just, even here we have ultimate happiness, joy, and success. And uh, I just see so much coming for you in terms of like dreams coming true is what I'm getting, like an opportunity coming your way where it doesn't even feel like real life. <laughs> I'm getting like, you're going to look at your life and be like, the, am I living in a fairy tale? Like it's going to be, it's going to get so good. It's going to be so good that you can't, like, you're going to have to pinch yourself a little bit. You're going to be like, am I dreaming? And uh, it might at times even feel a little bit too good to be true, but that it is true. It's it's like, this is like, it's, as I said at the beginning of this video, this is the dawn of a new age for you, dawn of a new era. It is, something big is coming for you. 
right? The other decks, I've gotten that the the kind of opportunity that was coming from that for them were going to be kind of, uh, you know, more like everyday things on their surface, but then they opened up big transformations within themselves, big opportunities otherwise, right? So if you are coming to this this card first, this reading first in this video, then just know that like what's coming for you is next level. What is coming for you in terms of your career or your finances, it is just like it is a dream come true and it is beyond your imagination, right, is what I'm getting. It is that good. It is pure positivity and it's just going to be this upgrade to your life. So we're going to get some more, uh, more guidance. Let me grab this deck over. Oh, okay. I guess we're going to take that card. I'm just going to get the rest of this deck here for you. We have our Six of Cups, right? So I feel like this is something you've been dreaming about for a long time. I feel like this is uh, this opportunity that's coming. It's like almost like an opportunity for you to live out almost your childhood dreams or like have the kind of life that you were dreaming about as a child. And then we, oh my gosh, we have Nine of Cups. Oh my gosh, wish fulfillment, right? Success, more success, right? Pleasure, joy, joy, success success, pleasure, right? Like so much pleasure and success for you and joy coming up. Oh my goodness. Card three, uh, this opportunity is an opportunity that's coming. It's going to be an opportunity for you to finally get to like realize some of your dreams from childhood. They might not be, it might not look exactly like it did when you were a child. Like maybe, for example, maybe you've been dreaming of being like a movie star since you were a child, just as an example. And maybe there's something that comes along in the next couple weeks or months here. That's what I'm getting. Next couple weeks or months. Like this is coming real soon for you. I'm getting there's an opportunity that comes that where you do get this opportunity to be in movies and maybe even find a lot of success and a lot of joy and a lot of fulfillment and a lot of money and wealth in it. But maybe it looks different than you thought it was going to. Maybe it comes about in a different way or at a very different age. Maybe you're decades older and you're like, wow, I didn't realize I'd be becoming a movie star in my 50s, right? Like there's just what's coming is going to come in a way that maybe looks different from how you imagined it as a child or when you were younger, but it's still absolutely going to fulfill it in, in an even a better way than you could have imagined. Right. Uh, so really going back, I see that this opportunity is going to come actually by you getting a little bit more in touch with, with what you truly wanted when you were, when you were younger, what your inner child still wants today. So this opportunity is one that you kind of have to seek out a little bit, but it's, it's right there. It's so close. You could, I'm like getting, you could like reach out and, and touch it. You could grab it. It's so close. Um, but it's getting honest with yourself is what I'm seeing. Getting more in touch with the truth and right? the truth of your soul of, your, of what do you really want and giving yourself permission to want it and to not feel crazy or not feel unrealistic for wanting it. Like there's nothing wrong with wanting or desiring something card three. That's the guidance I'm going to give you. There's nothing wrong with desiring something for yourself, no matter how outlandish or wild it may seem or how unrealistic or you know, like you just don't, it just feels like it's completely unavailable to you or you don't even know how you'll get there. That doesn't matter. There's nothing wrong with just letting yourself want it. Just letting yourself admit that you desire it. That's the, that, that simple yet really difficult thing to do of just tuning inward and going like, what did I want as a kid? Or what do I want now? What does my inner child want? What, what kind of career, what kind of level of wealth, what kind of house or lifestyle or car or job or whatever? What is it that I want? What is it that my, my inner child, my soul, that's that pure part of me wants? And let yourself daydream about it. Let yourself want it. Let yourself desire it. And in doing that, First of all, you're going to be in the energy of having it be a possibility and draw opportunities for that to manifest into your life too. You're going to attract it, but also you're going to be looking at the world differently then. If you continue, I see this being like a daily practice for the next few weeks, two to three weeks. If you can daily, card three, tap into your inner child to just let your imagination run wild and daydream. You could also like be scripting, you could be visualizing, you could be meditating on it, whatever it is you like to do. If you like to do sats, we're doing a challenge on this coming up in my Wealth Vibe membership starting July 1st. Uh, for 21 days, we're going to be doing a sats challenge. I just saw 555 on my phone for you, so this might be confirmation if you want to come join in for that. Uh, but of really allowing yourself to truly desire what you desire on that soul level and then like rewiring your subconscious to manifest it in your sleep. 
with our challenge coming up, so you might want to come join in for that. You're welcome to. I'll leave the link for the Wealth Five below. Uh, but regardless of how you do it and what modality you use, daily for the next two to three weeks, I'm getting, if you can commit to looking back into your childhood, into your past, into the the daydreams you had, then the things that fulfilled you, the things that brought you joy and pleasure, the idea of what your life or career could look like, that dream job, that dream home, that dream car, if you can visit that and sit with that and just allow yourself to desire it. You don't have to figure out how. You don't have to, you know, heal any blocks. Just let yourself desire it. Let yourself daydream about it and believe that maybe one day you can have it. And as you do that, that's going to, doing that daily for 5, 10, 15 minutes, right? 15 minutes might be a stretch for some I'm getting like five, 5 to 10 minutes, right? Set a timer. Let yourself daydream for 5 to 10 minutes. And if thoughts of, well, how's it going to happen? Or that's not going to happen? Or that would mean these bills come into play. Or, it's like, forget it. Redirect your mind to just daydreaming like you did as a kid. Let your inner self, your inner child daydream. Do that for 5 to 10 minutes a day in the next 2 to 3 weeks every day. And you are going to attract so this amazing opportunity. Like it's, it's again, it's going to be this wish fulfilled. It's going to be this nine of cups energy. It's going to be just this, like, you're going to blow your own mind with how quickly, how quickly it comes to you, this opportunity. And it's going to feel like it's just delivered on it, like a silver platter to you. I just am getting this image of just like, you're just like, here you go. And it's because you're allowing yourself to be in the energy and the possibility of it without resistance, f intentionally, consciously, focusedly for like several minutes every day. And if you could do it throughout the day, even more than that, great, it'll come faster. <laughs> but like do this for a couple weeks, try it out. Whether that's with me inside the membership for our stats challenge, our state akin to sleep challenge, or, uh, or otherwise, right? Or on your own, but just try it out for two to three weeks. Right? If you find, have trouble doing it, come join me in Wealth Five for that accountability. If you can do it on yourself, great, do it on your own. But this is the key. Like this is like the, my guides are handing. They're like this is the key. This is the thing to do. I cannot stress enough that will unlock this golden opportunity for just a new era for you. For the sun to come up on your life, you'll feel like you're the chosen one. Is what I mean. like the chosen one in your life. Like the universe finally is blessing you. Is choosing you because you're choosing you. You're choosing your dreams. You're choosing to allow yourself to dream and not dampen your dreams or write them off or try to dream smaller because it's more realistic. And then this opportunity that's going to come is like, it's going to be so obvious and it's going to lead to so much fulfillment, so much abundance. We have life abundance, so much success, so much joy, right? Like it's, you're going to truly understand your power to manifest miracles in this lifetime through this whole experience as well. But like your, your whole life is going to look so different in a couple months. My goodness, especially a year or two from now, I'm getting like, you're going to, I see many of you living in a different part of the world, in a different home, driving different cars. Uh, I see a lot of you doing completely different careers, having done a complete 180. Some of you are going to even be just financially independent and retired, basically, but doing your what you're passionate about. Like, I just, wow. Of all the readings, this is like the biggest leap. Like, all of them are phenomenal. All the readings have different opportunities and blessings for different, you know, success but if you came here first, oh my gosh, card three. Hoo-wee. Buckle up, because life's about to get real freaking good as long as you can <laughs> tune inward. Oh my goodness. All right. What else do we need to know about this opportunity for card three? Sovereign. Reclaim. Persevere. Govern. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> reclaim. Preserve. Govern. Remember. You're, you're stepping up into like, look at this regal. She's, a, she's on a throne <laughs> and she's got all this luxury in this palace. She's got all this power behind her with this line. She's got this opulence, this luxury with this peacock here. It's like, she is like, this is, you're stepping into the most sovereign area of your life. Like the success that's going to come from you allowing yourself to want what you want, to daydream about it, to be in the energy of it, to rewire your subconscious with just the energy and enjoyment of the vision of it is going to bring about opportunities that just land this amazing, like next level life in your life that you can't even conceive, right? Like you can't even dream, but it's just like, it's this next level of opulence, this next level of abundance. Um, you're, this is like a reclamation for you of, of everything that you desired as a child before the world or others or yourself taught you 
to dream smaller. Like this is a reclamation of you dreaming bigger, of, dream, of dreaming on the level that your soul, your higher self dreams on. And when you can tune into that, you, you just fall, you fall deeper in love with life. This is love maker, right? You fall deeper in love with life, with yourself. And that's what magnetizes these experiences, these opportunities to you to, to give love, to receive love, to be love. Like I just see you becoming so much, again, we have like so much just fulfillment and pleasure, right? Like so much more joy in your life. And also this is so interesting because love has come up in some context for all of the readings I've done in this video. So, uh, you as well, like as you step into this, I also see your love life upgrading because when it makes sense, it makes sense, right? It's not that your love life upgrades because all of a sudden you have more fame or more money or anything. It's because the fame and the money or the success that you want, the dream job, the dream house, it comes because you are being love. You are being in love with life, in love with yourself, in love with what you desire. And that allows you to attract it in and receive it and then give even more love. And then of course people are magnetized that are activated by that. So current partners you have, the relationship could be up leveling. You could be attracting new partners, right? You could be attracting just more friendships, more meaningful relationships into your life. You're just going to be, again, your cup is going to run over, like runneth over, right? Like look at our nine of cups card. Just it's, they're running over with this gold energy with abundance of all forms of all fulfillment, right? Of love. Let yourself fall back in love with your desires, fall back in love with yourself, be love. How can you be love? How can you be love? How can you be love? Illusionist, divert, spellbind, revamp, unveil. You be love by coming back to just your imagination. Your imagination is the greatest source of love. Do you know that? This is an interesting take. I don't know that I've channeled this exact guidance before. Your imagination is the gateway to love. It's the gateway to being love. It's the gateway to being in love with life and loving yourself and loving life. When you can imagine what you want without resistance, without trying to guess at how it's going to happen, but just revel in the joy of what you desire and also loving what you have to gratitude. You remove the illusion that you don't have what you want right now, because when you can create love through your imagination, through imagining things that could happen through daydreaming about what you want. When you uncover that joy in it, just for the sake of joy, you're tapping into love. You're tapping into joy and love in life. And when you can do that through your imagination, you realize you don't need the external circumstances to reflect that to you, for you to be love, for you to be in love with yourself and with life. And then because you don't need those, those outcomes and you can just live that life, almost, you know, live the delusion in your mental reality, then you get to, you start to just, like I said, magnetize people. You move through life differently. You talk differently. You walk differently. You act differently. You make different choices. You put off this energy of love that attracts people to you and that detachment from what you want because you already have it on an energetic level and an imaginary level. If you can make that enough and let that be enough, then the opportunities come even faster because you're not resistant to them. This is like, this is, Stuff that's talked about a lot in manifestation videos, but I feel like the way it's coming through here for you might be hitting deeper for some of you. But this is like, when I say this is like advanced manifestation, I don't mean that it's like harder. It's just an advanced understanding of how to manifest wealth. This is the truth. I can tell you at the beginning of this month when I'm recording, so I'm recording this beginning of uh, end of June, 2024. And this is a timeless reading, so it doesn't matter when you find it, but when I, at the beginning of this month, I lost two people in my life and they weren't super close to me, but I had personal ties to them. And that was such a huge wake up call for me. And I said, I'm going to, I knew the lesson that was coming through and I've, I've channeled some, you know, messages from them in the afterlife. And I, I clearly, the message continues to be from them. Like this life is so precious. It is such a gift and you don't know what's guaranteed. Nothing's guaranteed. So just enjoy it. Enjoy the gift of today, wherever you are, even if you're not exactly where you want to be or you're not at that next goal yet. And I have been really leaning into that this month. And that paired with the receiving mode challenge we did inside of the, the Wealth by membership this last month. It's been a record month in my business this year. This has been the highest income month in my business year with less work than the previous months on my part. It's been the highest multiple five-figure month in my business this year. And 
it's because I'm being love. And I'm so in love with, with my imagination, with the things I'm imagining for myself, but also what I have. And it removes that illusion that I don't have what I want, that I have to wait till I get to that next income level or that next goal to, to have it because I already have it on an energetic level, on a mental level, on an, a non-physical spiritual level. And when I make that enough, then the inspiration I get, the ideas I have, the way I do these readings, the way I promote things in my business, the way I show up, what I choose to do, what feels aligned to do, that all shifts and it becomes so much more aligned and so much more magnetic. And then of course the mic comes in and I'm not surprised, but I'm grateful, but I'm also not like tapping my foot waiting for it because I already have it on an energetic level. Like this is a very much more advanced understanding and application of the manifestation techniques that we hear all the time. And I hope it's hitting different for you. But it's like, that's, that's what is coming for you. And that's how you access it. And like, yes, all the material wealth and riches you desire are coming and even more than you can imagine, but they're coming through you being willing to daydream, to fantasize, and then to just enjoy what you have and enjoy what you have now and be in love with your, your desires, be in love with what you have, be in love with all the potential and possibility each moment holds, be in love with everything that is right now and who you are right now. From there, the way you show up for job interviews is different. The, the way you ask for pay raises is different. The way you go about your day-to-day -day work is different. What you do in your business or what you offer or the rates you charge is different. The way you say things is different. The way you sell yourself or your products or whatever is different. And that's what opens up doors. That's what brings the, this amazing opportunity that's coming your way to open up this, this just life of luxury, financial freedom. But it's like it doesn't even matter when that comes because you've lifted the veil by understanding how to be love first. This is something in some way this goes, I go really in depth in this through some channeled messages in my absolute abundance offering. I will link that below here for you. If you want to check that out, that is a bunch of channel messages and exclusive pick a card readings for more implementation on those channeled messages. Um, but the channel messages come from my arrow collective and it is just whew, like next level stuff. The people who've gone in there have just transformed massively. So uh, I have that link for you below if you want to check that out. But this is really like, this is the big secret <laughs> to manifesting what you want. And it's easier said than done, right? I understand that it's easier said than done, but it is uh, when you master this and you understand it, it's like nothing's off limits to you because it's in your imagination because it's in, you, you can create, use your imagination to create the feeling of it now. And then you, when you let that be enough and enjoy that and enjoy what you have, you don't, need it and you weren't searching for it and you have it and then you're in the energy of having it and then it shows up in the physical right so uh yeah this is really powerful all right we're gonna pull a couple more cards for you before we before we wrap here we have uh the moon's wisdom take the lead right again this is the one you know the one reading of this whole video where I said like, you have to go looking for this opportunity and other, the other readings, there's little things they need to do to open themselves up to it, to make space for it. But for you, it's like, you need to figure out what it is you want. And then by daydreaming about it, you will manifest it, the opportunity for it to come through into your, into your physical 3d reality. You have to take the lead, right? This is not, there is a golden opportunity available to you, but you have to pursue it. You have to bring it about right? All the powers in your hands, which can be like, oh my God, all the powers in my hands. Crap. I can't just sit back and it'll happen for me. But also all the powers in your hands, you get to do this whenever you're ready to do it. Oh, that's so cool. I'm getting that you get to do this whenever you're ready to do it. This isn't just like right now when you're watching this video, though for a lot of you, this is enough to unlock and get you down this path where you can start manifesting this now. But if you're watching this now and you find that you're trying to learn how to be love and lift the veil and all the really, you know, nebulous things I just talked about. And you just feel like you're hitting a block or you, you do it for three days and then you can't like, it's like, it's okay when you get there, when you're patient with yourself, it'll be the perfect time. And then it'll happen so fast. Right. Uh, but it's all, it's all in your hands, which is both a good and a bad thing, right? It's a, it's a curse and a blessing, right? When everything is just fully in our hands, but I'm getting that this is something your soul came here to really learn as to how to take the lead, how to be, wildly uh masterful at creating your reality from the inside out but you're gonna create just the life of your dreams beyond your dreams 
right, that's, it's so cool. I'm so excited for you. We have our rooted card from the Wealthy Woman deck here that I authored. That is a card that is all about gratitude. <laughs> so being grateful is going to be a big part of this for you and bring about more abundance. So again, um, it wouldn't be like when we talk about practical steps for this, it would not be a bad idea to spend, you know, five, 10 minutes a day fantasizing about what you desire, daydreaming about it. And then five to 10 minutes afterwards, being in gratitude for what you do have, or even, and, and that can include the feeling that you've just created of what, what you desire, right? Like being in gratitude for having that feeling, being gratitude for the vision, uh, but also being in gratitude for what you do have financially, success wise, career wise, whatever it is. Uh, but really the path ahead of you, once you start doing this, it's, it's then the way you navigate it is all about fo finding, following what feels exciting to you. That's what it's about. It's all about following what feels exciting to you. That's, that's your compass with the Pathfinder card. When you, when you're in this state of joy and gratitude and then you go, well, what's next? What's the aligned action for me? It's just whatever excites you most next. Even if it's like between two choices, which is the slightly more exciting thing, or in this moment, what's the most exciting thing you can do? What feels the best to you? That's it. That's the path that's going to lead you to these golden opportunities that unlock this amazing life beyond your wildest dream. That's the, that's the practical like steps to it. And it sounds so deceptively simple, but in practice, again, this can be very challenging. So if you find it's hard to sit in joy of what you're imagining, to be loved, to... Uh, to be in gratitude for more than a couple days at a time, right? And to trust, identify in, you know, what, what excites you and then trust that that's the next right step for you. That's normal. Keep working on it. Have, have patience with yourself and you're going to get there faster than you think, right? Uh, this is something we're not taught to do in our society. We're not taught to enjoy our daydreams as adults. We're not taught to be love and be kind of unconditional in how we feel, regardless of what our, our external circumstances look like. We're not taught to be in gratitude other than on certain holidays, right? Like, or certain, you know, moments in time. Like, we're not taught these things as adults. We're not taught to follow what excites us. We're taught to follow what's logical or what, what everyone else says we should do. This isn't something that's taught, so this is something that might take some patience on your part with yourself as you learn to take the lead of your life and learn how to truly harness the immense power you have to cultivate this amazing inner reality and then translate it into your external reality. But that's, that's what's available to you right now. And it's just, and then you're gonna, I just see you becoming this master manifester, like truly understanding this on a deeper level. And again, if you struggle with this sort of stuff, come join me in the Wealth Fight membership because that's the whole point is it's a place to help you immerse yourself in this stuff and learn modalities every month with our monthly challenges and our book club discussions and our daily mini money reads to help you stay connected to you know, these principles of following what feels right to you, what feels exciting, of being in gratitude, of being, you know, in, able to hold that, that wealth vibe. That's why I call it that, the wealth vibe. It's holding that vibe of abundance, that energy of it, so it can manifest. All right, we're going to get one more card for you here. We have today and every day, the universe will unfold magic for me. And you know why the universe unfolds magic for you every day when you choose it is because you're the one creating the magic. You're the universe. You're the universe. Card three, you're an extension of the universe. You're an extension of the divine. When you revel in yourself, in what you have, in your internal state, and you cultivate that internal state intentionally and that inner vision, and you let it be enough and you enjoy it, you create magic within yourself, and then the world outside you reflects that back to you. And you draw it to you, you create opportunities for it. It's all connected. You can use this as a mantra, if you like, whenever you need to. Today and every day, the universe will unfold magic for me. I would even amend it for you, card three, to say today and every day, I unfold magic within myself and the universe unfolds it before me. Something along those lines. Ooh, today and every day, the uh, today and every day, I create magic within myself and the universe unfolds it for me. There you go. So uh, there is so much wow, just your dream life available closer than you think. But there has to, it, it comes through all the, the action steps we talked about here. It comes through this, this inner mastery of cultivating that love, that joy within yourself through your imagination, through your mind, through your energy, 
and just reveling in it and reveling in what you have and enjoying the gift that this life is, this day is, this moment is. And then watch how that shifts everything around you, transforms everything around you. All right, card three. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I certainly did. This is, wow, just beautiful. And I am just loving it. I, I like to think if I were on the other side of this reading, I would have picked this pile, but who knows. But this is just the brightest, most sunshiny pile because you picked the sun, right? Oh my goodness, my heart is so full and so like overfilled with like love and, and joy and, and abundance for you, right? Like I'm just so excited for you. So I hope you enjoyed this reading card three. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below letting me know what you took from it and how it resonated. I always really appreciate getting to see your comments and hearing how these readings connect with you. You are, of course, if you're not already, welcome to subscribe to my channel for future card readings for abundance. If you would like to get access to all of the resources you need to manifest more wealth into your life, you are absolutely welcome to come join me inside of the Wealth Vibe membership. It's a ridiculously low cost for everything included, like the exclusive daily money readings I post in there, our money manifesting challenges where me and my clients have been manifesting wild amounts of money and career upgrades lately, our book club, um, our exclusive money meditations, our, our amazingly supportive community, and so much more. It's truly such a powerful place to immerse yourself in the energy of abundance, dissolve money blocks, and speed up your money manifestations. So the link for the Wealth Vibe membership is in the description and pinned comment below. I would love to get to see you there. And if you want to order your own copy of the Wealthy Woman Oracle deck so you can get divine guidance on demand for all things money and abundance, that link is below as well. And with all of that being said, I am wishing you massive prosperity and abundance. And I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye.